So as you see from the little thing from earlier, you probably know this trick already because it's if you're new, old to this channel, if you've been here before. Because um, this trick, I've probably done this more than enough times, honestly. And I think it's time to finally make a tutorial on it. Because, you know, I want to be, I want to be a cool guy. I don't mind you people learning this trick now. Because this trick's a lot of fun to do. It's also really fun, like, just to start step by step. So they're kind of hard ish, I guess. But since I trust you guys not to steal this trick, I might teach you. So we're gonna start off with this tutorial. I'd use a bit of a longer string for this uh, trick because it looks cooler with longer string, in my opinion. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Just a one and a half mount. Just a regular one and a half mount. But with, except for you're using your finger on this side, you're going to use your thumb. And you're going to put your other thumb right on top of here and put it behind all strings. All of them. So it look like, kind of like, so if I went like that, just put it right there. So there, there. Okay, the next step, you're going to take this string right here, the single one, and just kind of pull it off trigger it again just kind of pull it off and the next step you're gonna put your kind of you're just gonna put your thumb in the loop right here and then the first string right here you're gonna land it swing it and land it on there and you're gonna drop your index this one right here and you're gonna have this little slack what you're gonna do you're gonna swing the slack around and then when it's right about there you're gonna want to put your index in there, your thumb and both sides of the string, just both of them. You can put your index too, but it makes it a little harder to do. See if I just, oh yeah, you put your index there. I kind of forget sometimes. Uh, so you just put your index and your thumb there. Both of them, like when it's swinging around, put your thumb, just put your index right here and grab your thumb. And put them right there, both like that. Oops. So let me tell you, let me explain it a little better. So when you're swinging this, it's just swinging around. You're gonna put your index, like what I'm like right here, you're gonna put your index right here and your thumb. And you can just put your thumb and put it like that. And in one smooth motion, it should look like, like that. Okay. So after you get that part, you're gonna swing it over. You're gonna, you're gonna swing the yo-yo over this way. But what you're doing, you're gonna curl your finger in at the same time. Just curl it in, and then land a trapeze. Land a trapeze. But okay, this is not. This is the part I kind of had troubles with when I first made this trick. When you're swinging it over, sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, you're gonna take your index. When it's like right swinging over, you're gonna take your index out of the way. And put your finger there. So you have two strings on your thumb and one right here. The next step, we're gonna get off the trapeze, make the loop bigger, and just put it there. And then the next part, you're gonna leave your like kind of index, and then you're gonna take your index this right here out of the way, and just kind of roll. So it should look like kind of like a wrist mount, but you have the slack thingy. The next part, this we're gonna go underneath. And make this weird star shaped thing. Okay, let me recap a little bit so, just in case you guys are having a little bit of trouble, there, like that. Twist the finger in. Okay, when it's like swinging, take your index out of the way, out of here, and then just put it right there. And then you're gonna make the loop swing off, make the loop bigger, put it inside the loop. Oh, yeah, drop your thumb here. Take your index out of the way, roll it over, put the slack underneath, and you need a chopstick. And the next part of this trick, you're gonna see the where your fingers, like the strings connected where your finger is. You're gonna pop the yo-yo out, and you're gonna land it on this very string right here. And then you're gonna just drop everything. And if you want to, keep your index here and just swing it a little bit. It should just end up into a normal trebies. Let me scoot back a little bit because I was really close to the camera. Oh shoot. 
Yeah. Okay, this trick's very, uh, it's pretty difficult. It's a fun trick to do, though. Like, if you ever learn, you have to learn how to do it. There. Go right there. Drop the two thumbs and then swing this around if you want to. Let's just make it look cooler. Alright, the next step, we're going to put your hand through. If you want to, you can just leave it right there, but I like to just keep my finger there. And then you just put your hand through there. And it's kind of like the Daniel Flaherty thing I taught you. It's very similar, but a little different. It's a trapeze this time. There. And you're going to roll over. Just with the same string that you see, it's still on trapeze. Just with the back string, just roll over. And the next step, you're going to drop the slack like that. Okay, this is the part where people most of the time have troubles with because it's it's pretty easy, but if you don't understand what I'm doing, it's going to be kind of difficult. You're going to twist your like finger in as if you're doing a chopstick thingy, but just your finger like that. And then you're going to grab the loop and put it into it so it looks like a Mach 5 if you're whipping it, but it's in a triangle. As if you're whipping it, because if it looks like this, like this, put a string over, it's really hard to grab the string sometimes. Like when you're popping it. Okay, the next part it involves popping. Because when you do that, I like to just kind of put my finger in, like in there, right here. And just catch it there. So that when you pop it, it's easier to catch the string. Alright, so the next part, pop it, as I was saying earlier. This is another pretty difficult part for some people. What you're going to do, you're going to grab this right here. So you get a slack. You're going to swing it over and you're going to catch it on your thumb on the inside. Like that. And then you're going to roll off, and then just drop your thumb. So you should have a twist, like that. And then the next part, you're going to go into a triangle, like backwards triangle, like that. And then you're going to grab your thumb right here, just going to grab it. And you're going to get it off the back part. And then you're going to widen the gap. When you use, you can use the momentum from that shot on the sway, the dropping it off. You're going to put it on the string. Okay, you don't have to do the suit, so you can just drop it, and it's just going to be a trapeze. But, the part that makes it a little cooler, in my opinion, you are right there. Oops. Right there. Drop, drop, okay. This is the problem I didn't explain this very well. You're going to drop it off closer to you. Don't drop it off the front. Because if you do that, you're going to get a knot. See if I drop it off the front, it's a knot. If you drop it off closer to you, you're going to have this weird formation thingy. And if I wanted to, I'd just drop it. and get some knot. So, the recap, there, swing it around, there, pinch right here, there, catch it to the thumb, drop it off, there, go out the front, put it on the string, like if it was like this gap right here, just put it right there, and then what you're next, we're going to do, you don't have to do this, but it makes it look cooler, you're going to swing it over, and you're gonna catch the little the loop the same loop. Oh, whoops. And catch the same loop. And it should just end up in a trapeze. It actually is a lot easier. The suicide's probably the easiest part of the trick, just because the loop stays like that. And it's easier just to find and catch. So yeah, that's the trick. It's one of my favorite tech combos. Kind of technical, I guess. But if you want, if you figure out how to learn this, it'd be pretty cool. Cause it, I don't know, I just find it really cool. Yeah, cause you know, and I have some more tech tricks like the one I was doing right now, but I messed up one. If you follow me on Instagram, I have a, a lot of tricks that I have not. I have a couple tricks I haven't even released on this channel yet. So if you want to, go check it out. That's really all I got to say. Oh wait, yeah, one more thing. I'm going to have a Q&A again, another one, if for, I think, this Saturday, next Saturday, Saturday coming up, not this one, coming up, the one coming up, not that one, next Saturday, like, this week, not this week, next week, the next week Saturday, sorry if I'm not explaining that very well, if you understand, please, just, yeah, so if you want to, this video is going to be for the, um, the, the questions, just tell me the questions you want to know, and yeah, and I'll do a Q and A on it. I'll try to do every question I can. I'm sorry, I'm just, so I just heard you a whole new combo right there. I just made that a couple today. Um, yeah, so that's yeah. If you have any questions, just comment down below.
Comment down below what you want in the next video as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.